All right, guys, welcome back to the shack. And today, as you can see, lots of testing going on. I've got some updates and some things to let you guys know about. So stick around and we're gonna talk about it. All right, so I hope the background noise isn't too much, guys. I got a little bit of noise from the AP2 over there. But X-Tool kind of hit me with the old left-right hook. Uh, I wound up getting the F2 in as well as the F2 Ultra, and it was one behind the other. And I've been doing a lot of testing, and the deadline was supposed to have been the 17th for these, this machine here, the new F2 Ultra UV. But due to some things changing, guess what? Today, I can talk about it. So, not to overstate the obvious, guys, but X-Tool has decided to embrace Clack Shack Orange. So, we now have not only the F2, but we have the F2 Ultra UV, which is a bit of a mouthful. But, this is it, alright? So, not to be confused with the old F2 Ultra, which is the MOPA blue laser combo. This one is the UV model, and I have grown to love... UV lasers, so I like the versatility of that wavelength of laser as well as being able to have a little more forgiveness with settings uh, because this thing is gonna be very versatile. I know that because I am familiar with this wavelength of laser and uh, I'm looking forward to testing it out. So just to give you guys a quick 30,000 foot overlook on the machine today uh, and let you know what we're gonna be talking about in the future, the machine, from what I can tell, is reverse compatible with every accessory that I've tried with it so far, as far as the button, the pedal, all of that. It does come with its own brand new orange branded little touch screen, but if you had the older one, they say that you can use it with the F2. And uh, I'm not sure about the, the F2 Ultra UV, but I do think I'll be able to use that pad with this one if I needed to. But to be honest, I've got the touch button. I've got the foot pedal. I don't know that I need it for this. Uh, so as far as all of the older uh, accessories, they're saying they're gonna support them. I can tell you the AP2 connected up to it nicely, uh, but it did connect right up to it. It's running with it fine because I've got the machine sitting over here to the side. So I had to come up with a way of you know, venting it because I don't just want to do the crystals. I want to test all the things that UVs can do. And with UVs, even though you don't get the smoke that you would with some of the other machines, you do get a lot of particulate, a lot of really, really fine dust uh, from the ablatement of the materials. And so having the AP2 is going to keep all that dust and residue out of the air and out of my lungs. So that's what we're doing right now. I've got a little wood deep engraved going just to see what kind of results I get on that. We'll be doing lots of testing this weekend, probably into next week. I had kind of scheduled to have my video ready by the 17th, so maybe we'll make the 17th deadline. Uh, but yeah, machine so far, guys, everything about it is what I had expected it to be. It's what you would typically expect from X-Tool. Nothing too groundbreaking other than the fact that they took uh, if you're familiar with the F1 Ultra or the F2 Ultra, which is very similar machines as far as what they can do, they have took those machines and just put a UV source inside it and added some really cool features. Uh, this one can do the 3D crystal engraving and stuff like the other UVs on the market can. Uh, I haven't got to check that out yet. I've got some, some other crystals ordered. I've got a case of them that I'd order to use with the other machines. So I should have plenty of crystals in the upcoming week because I just ordered some more uh, that we're gonna be playing with uh, with this machine in the near future. So that's where we're at guys. But if you wanna go check the machine out, I'll drop a link down below. You can go look at it, see what you think about it. Uh, I find this to be a lot more useful to me than let's say some of the other machines that X-Tool has released lately. But anyway, we're gonna be continuing the testing. I got some other videos that I'm working on getting done. As soon as I get those guys done and work my way to this machine, we'll be doing more with it. But for now, I just wanna let you know, guys know to stay tuned, uh, like set your DVR, whatever you wanna use, whatever expression you wanna use, 
but come back and check out the videos once I get them done. I've also got some great projects planned uh, because I do think with this platform utilizing the UV light, I, I think it's going to be it's going to be a very useful machine for for most of you guys. So stick around and uh, don't forget to check out those links down below, and we'll get started soon. I hope. So till next time, be safe. Have a good day.